spouse visa application in my previous video i have explained the list of the documents that are needed for uh, a successful uk spouse visa application when you seek exemption from your financial requirements if you have not uh, become a member of uh, my immigrant community you and you want to uh, see all of uh, the process and step where you can apply by yourself you can become you can apartment documents from uh, um, any previous divorce certificate or if you do not have any copy you can request from the court it can take up to three months time to prepare your file and sometime if you are starting from zero it's always better to uh, seek a professional help and advice at least which and then you will complete your application online this will be submitted online you can submit it even from the united kingdom you can submit it from anywhere around the world it will be online application and i have given the link in my practice guide um, as well so where you can go to uh, your uh, um, go to the link where you can apply online application you will also be able to complete your VEF for a appendix because it's very important when you apply for UK spouse visa you will also need to complete your append uh, your VEF, um, VEF for application so that you can give them clear information about your income and expenditure about your relationship requirement when did you meet where did you meet your spouse and also you will give them information if, uh, in relation to your financial requirement or self-employed or employment or carers allowance whatever section is applicable onto your application you can complete that section for your application so once you've done your online application once you've done your uh, uh, web for a uh, appendix then you will be able uh, to prepare your bundle and book an appointment at a visa center so you there is uh, there is a way if you want to give uh, if you want to take back your passport i think there is uh, some uh, extra charges they will apply they uh, it will be applied onto your application and then you will be able to receive your original documents back from them even your passport and they will process your application so UK spouse visa application uh, can take uh, up to 12 week maximum and minimum it can take up to three weeks. So from three weeks up to 12 weeks time, they can take entry clearance officer take um, to process your application and they can give you the answer. In the meantime, once uh, um, when you prepare your application when you submit your application you can also prepare your legal grounds and if your legal representative is doing the application for you they will do your legal grounds which will cover immigration rules requirement appendix fm and if you cannot meet certain requirements then it comes under the exceptional rules this is called ex1 of appendix fm so which is part of the immigration rules part 8 of immigration rules will deal with your application you will have to make sure you go through each and every link of the content so that you make sure whatever is applicable onto your application so uh, these are the legal requirements it's always uh, uh, better to enclose your legal grounds under which grounds you are submitting your application and how your application should not fail because you have comments which you are going to enclose it's always always easier for them to place your documents within the same folder where your documents are because sometimes people complain people say oh we have sent these documents to entry clearance officer bit but this has never been taken into consideration um, you are right and they are right as well because you have never given them the right reference number you have never given them the description of your documents or the applicants name so therefore there are chances that your documents may have been misplaced or it has not been placed into the right folder so once you are the applicant or you are the sponsor you need to be aware of the system you need to be aware of the uh, your legal grounds and you have the right to ask your legal grounds from your lawyer and from your legal representative so that you can understand your position you can understand your situation
because if you care about your application if you care about your case then it's always better to make the other people um, uh, uh, understand how uh, to move forward and get the information right information within the right period of time so finally um, your appeal within the expiry date this is your case this is your duty to file your appeal within 28 days if you are living outside the country outside the uk and if you are living inside the uk always there is 14 days to file your appeal in the first year tribunal immigration um, immigration tribunal right so any further help on it you can book a consultation uh, you can book your call uh, which is uh, which is not free and you have to pay for those consultation uh, but this worth it because uh, if you are uh, investing I know it's not easy to apply UK spouse with application there are many requirements to meet before you can submit your application income requirement financial requirement maintenance requirement accommodation requirement the relationship requirement as well as English language requirement sometimes people cannot meet English language requirement because of some problem sometimes people cannot meet their financial requirement due to coronavirus issues or their other health issues sometimes people cannot meet a relationship requirement because they have already been married in another country but now you are thinking whether or not to divorce your first spouse so these are the problems and issues you are facing if you want to know more about how can you apply successfully uh, in terms of UK spouse visa application, click the link below and register your details.